official way in for the main event of the evening as Premier Boxing Champions presents the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. Brought to you by Debella Entertainment, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach and Casa Noble Tequila. At this time, though, ladies and gentlemen, we invite to the stage first the challenger from Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Red the IBF number five world contender. His record 35 wins, three losses, one draw with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome to the stage the challenger, former two weight division world champion, Lamont Peterson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite to the stage one of the young stars of boxing today. He'll be making defense of his title. He is 22 and 0 with 19 knockouts from Dallas, Texas, by way of Long Island, New York. The undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, Errol Spence Jr. Fighters are ready to step onto the scale at this time. Once again, the challenger making his sixth world title appearance, the former 140 pound and former 147 pound world champion, Lamont Peterson. One hundred forty-six and three-quarter pounds for the challenger. One hundred forty-six and three-quarter pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the 2012 U.S. Olympian, the reigning, the defending, and the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, Errol Spence Jr. Harold Spence Jr. weighs in right into the middle of 147 pounds. 147 for the Wonderweight Champion of the World. Gentlemen, it's the Showtime Championship Boxing main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. The undefeated Errol Spence Jr. against the clever, crafty, and fantastic veteran Lamont Peterson. <laughs> Lamont, well, can we get you up quick here? A couple of questions up camera straight ahead. The perception out there is that Errol Spence is the bigger guy. Yet, earlier today when we had our Friday meetings, you were mentioned that you even would consider going up to 154 pounds. So I take it you don't think Errol is necessarily, has any advantage being the naturally bigger guy. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that he's not the bigger guy. I just believe that it doesn't matter. It's all about boxing speed. The, again, the perception out there is this can't help but be a really good fight because of your styles, because of your wills. Is that perception accurate? I think so. I think we'll both make each other look pretty good. So what's going to happen? I'm going to win. Good luck. You went on the road to win your world championship, and you fought a very tough fighter, and now you're certainly not taking the easy way, fighting Lamont Peterson. Everybody thinks that this is a serious challenge. How tough a challenge is it going to be? It's tough. If you know, if you know Lamar, you know he's a tough fight. But like I said, I come to dominate the division. So it started with Kel Brook. He's gonna, he's gonna. I'm gonna get Lamar Peterson, and I'm gonna get the other workplaces out there. Well, that leads to my next question. Your goal ultimately is to be the last man standing in the welterweight division, which is the best division in boxing. Because you want a fight with Thurman. Because you want. The big, only the big fights. Is how you win tomorrow just as important as winning by itself? Definitely. Yeah, I, I want to dominate, and that's what I come here to do. I come here to dominate, I come here to look good. I'm the future of the division, I'm the future of boxing. Last question. 
I asked Lamont the same question, I'll ask you. Everybody thinks this can't miss as an action fight. Do you see it that way? Definitely. It's going to be a great fight. Wish you a lot of luck. Yeah,